those fingers in my hair That sly come hither stare That strips my conscience bare It's witchcraft Hey, it's John and Mike from Brew-Dudes.com First of all, where the hell are we? Uh, yeah, this is the new studio. I think we're trying to do something different rather than st sitting, uh, sitting at a table in your basement. Uh, we're in my basement today. <laughs> but this is where the sour beer, or at least my sour beer, lives. And uh, right now, this is, uh, we're sampling something uh, that is 18 months old, or just a little bit older than 18 months. This is the first sour beer that I brewed. Um, this is based off a lambic recipe basically from Jamil's book and here it is a year and a half later um, probably took a look at it in the carboy had a little bit of the papelical still uh, sitting around but it's been second it's been the secondary vessel for uh, six months now and uh, you know, it, was what? it was in primary for a year yeah primary <coughs> for a year and then uh, we moved it and to what was the, the micro was just the Rosalaire or yeah yeah um, so let that just uh, do its thing, and um, with a little bit of um, a, uh, I think, safe ale 05, because I think that's, um, you just throw it through a package in there and have help things start up, and then let the bugs do its thing, so. Well, it's like a strong, um, <coughs> musty, <coughs> bready character. That's my cold, not the beer. Um, <coughs> that's going to be great. Um, but, uh, I mean, I love the color. It's it's actually getting pretty clear. Mm. It doesn't smell like super sour. The smell is kind of almost moderately innocuous. I mean, it's <coughs> maybe if it was <coughs> when we get it carbonated, it'll lift some aroma. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, these uh, lambic style beers don't need to be carbonated. I mean, you could, or you mm. can just uh, serve it still like this. But it's, you know, it's not like rippingly sour. Mm. It's definitely sour, and there's yeah. some um, astringency on the back of the palate yep. there, too. Uh, for 18 months, I'm really surprised that this is where it's... <coughs> I, I expect it to be yeah. a little more punch, but it's good. It's it's coming along. I mean, there's still an active pellicle on there, so... Yeah. The thing is, it's been in my basement for the majority of time. In that corner... It's uh, probably, it gets as warm as 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but I'd say most of the time it's lower between 50 and 60 and, you know, in the winter time, certainly right now, it's closer to that 50 degree Fahrenheit point. So, it's slowly doing its thing. I don't know if I should move it to a, a warmer area. Yeah. I think it's nice where it is. It's cold, it's dark, and... Do its thing. I can forget about it, you know? It's not always there staring me in the face, and I think to myself, ah, oh, I should be tasting that. Well, you've been patient mm -hmm. up to this point, so, yeah, so there's no reason to rush it along. Yeah. I'll see you in another further. year. Yeah. But, we have its younger brother in, uh, in a bucket. I actually saved the uh, trube, or the, um, the, you know, the yeast the cake. cake. Yep. Uh, and made another batch and just when I racked this into the glass carboy I put new wart on top of the cake so that's six months ago we should take a look at what that looks like all right well <laughs> I haven't looked at it so we're gonna open up a six month old yep. in the bucket primary yep. fermentation of your second sour yep and then taste on the leaves of yep. the first sour so and then yep. we'll do a taste exactly sweet mm -mm. sour mm. Here we go. All right, let's open up the primary <laughs> fermenter. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> you think that's infected? <laughs> Look at that thing, man. Holy mackerel. Look at all that cr crust on the side. Holy yeah, wow. yeah. So this is the first time I opened it up in six months. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we sure are. We've uh, removed the checks, <laughs> most of the checks. <laughs> Um, the that's a beautifully in interesting, but that's a very active pellicle. Yeah, I mean, a lot of dry crust around yeah. the outside from bubbles. And it had been, yeah, right? And now yeah. it's like, um, so here we are. Almost <laughs> the same color. So it's the same recipe? Yes, yeah, okay. same recipe. Almost the same color. So if you want to take a look oh. at that. Yeah. Um, it's a little, much cloudier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With mm -hmm. floaties. But uh, same recipe, um, same batch size, five gallons. But uh, the I'm, smell is a little more yeah. sour. It's a little exactly. more pronounced. Mm -hmm. 
It's pleasant though. Mm. And uh, much more sour in the taste too. Oh yeah. Yeah. It still has. Oh, in the back of the throat, yeah. I get more yeah. acid. Quite. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not as bready as the as the other one, mm -hmm. um, but it is sour, sour -er. Yeah. yeah. It's still not face rippingly sour. No, and which I is think fine. That, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Um, does it need? I mean, to still be? got a ways to go. I mean, there's still plenty of body. Even the other sample seems to have some body to it. There's still a lot of body in here, so I would assume there's <coughs> enough residual dextrins or yeah. sugars, unfermentable stuff that could go is going to go further. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice check-in. I mean, um, it's going in good places, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's not recommended that you open up buckets and poke pellicles <laughs> too frequently. <laughs> but I think six months is a fair time to go at yeah. it. And um, there's nothing off-putting about the flavor of this. So no. this is, like, right on track and doing pretty well. Yeah. Well, I just say, what, yeah, I, mean, I think we discussed in a, in a previous video, at what point do we start um, blending these or... Uh, even trying other fun stuff like putting it on fruit or what have you. Um, certainly this, uh, I'd like to go in another six months mm. um, along with uh, the older ones. So then I have a two year and a, and a one year old. Um, and then we set the whole process again. I just wonder if I should use the same yeast cake to continue I, to go. I would go for it. Yeah. I, why not? I mean, okay. it's starting to, it's more sour than the first batch. So yeah. I think the mic, the souring microbes have come up in population, mm -hmm. so that's what I would think. Yeah. Or you know, you could pitch or co-pitch with this some bottle drags from a couple of commercial sours, yeah. or <coughs> um, or go buy some like uh, Lactobacillus brevis or something and kind of bump up that part of the population. That would help drive the sourness. Mm. But it's good. It's it's uh, it's coming along. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this. No. Keep it going. It's exciting. It is exciting. It just takes so long, man. Yeah. Well, that's why we have all our clean beers to keep that's uh, true. Keep us going. I guess so. And then this just sits in my basement, or I can close the door and forget about it, and then say like, oh yeah, June comes up. The last weekend in June, that's uh, my sour beer day, uh, sour be a beer time period at least. Certainly not a project for the impatient. No, you have to let it sit and get to forget about it.